Can you teach confidence? Ooh. I think... I don't... I don't think you can... You... Genuinely for... See like, what I mean? It's a tough question. Genuinely... I don't think it can be taught. I think it can be imitated. It can be but imitated. But I think it can be... You can manufacture situations that give someone confidence. I actually thought about this uh, recently. I was like, all right, I have a friend who doesn't have that much confidence. But what if I just, let's say I went up to some people in a bar and I was like, yo, my friends, like, for example, not realistic, movie-like stuff. My friend's having a hard time. He's this, he's that, da-da-da-da, he's awesome. Go talk to him. Let's say they listened. And then they go talk to him. He's going to feel confident after that. Yeah. And then he's going to start feeling, feel, feel, you know, start feeling yourself. And at that point, it was manufactured. There are situations that can make you confident. They could be conjured up or they can happen naturally. And think at that point, you just, you just, you act the role. You act like a confident person. I don't think you can teach it. You can instill confidence. Exactly. Right? Like exactly. You, you can hype someone up. But that confidence doesn't come from someone else. That confidence comes from within. People, my entire life, have been trying to teach me to be confident. No, but Whether you, you are like, confident. In my own way. Right? It, it took me a long time to get there, and a big thing that helped me was podcasting, believe it or not. I but, believe it. Um, people have been like, this is what you got to do like, to get girls. This is what you got to do to be good at sports. Or This is what you got to do. And it comes down to just be confident. Just believe in yourself. It's like, well, how do you do that? Like, no one can physically teach you that. People can believe in you, and that can create confidence. But confidence is an emotion, right? Confidence is a feeling. Can you teach someone to be sad? Right. I mean, but no. But success. You can make someone sad. <laughs> success breeds confidence. Yes, that's also so. True. It doesn't. You could be. People think of. See, the thing is, confidence has a certain. It's always orient, orientated in a certain way that like confident means that you go and talk to people and you're social and you're the life of the party and you're funny and you're charming and all of the things. But you could be the most confident like locksmith. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, the guy, last guy said this is going to take two hours. I have five minutes. I got it. You know what I mean? You, you could yeah, be yeah. confident in that way. Yeah. That's still an internal thing. Right. That That is an internal thing. I think finding the thing that you're good at breeds confidence it doesn't have to be the stereo the the prototypical things right but like okay so how can you teach yourself to be confident right because that's like can you teach yourself to be confident it's hard to be confident if you suck at something that's true but you can also just fake it till you make it like I, I i would say like i cannot teach you christian to be confident at podcasting right i can just do podcasts with you and hope you pick it up right but i can teach myself to be confident by doing it over and over again, listening back, editing myself, trying to replace myself, stop saying right so much, stop saying like so much, improve on things, eventually you get better at it. That's kind of teaching is self-confidence. But no one can teach you how to do that. They can teach you how to become good at podcasting, but to be confident and believe in yourself to do it, I can't teach you, you gotta, that. You, it takes it takes practice and repetition. You could you could life coach, you could be like life you could bullshit. be oh that's a good point. That should have been a question. What do you think about life coaches? I mean, because you could them. be <laughs> on paper, you could you could be king or queen of the castle. Mm -hmm. Let's say all all you know most of most of the things like on paper. You got a great job. You got the car. You got the house. You do fun things but you're socially inept and you don't know how to talk to people. The person isn't really considered confident, even though they have the success. So that's just me playing the other side of the coin, playing devil's advocate. Right. Yeah. So I would say, no, you can't really teach someone else to be confident because it just doesn't, doesn't work. Like if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to be confident. Confidence is a, it's an internal thing. It's not an external thing, but it's like drive. Well, yeah, willpower. Can't make you can't make you want it. Yeah, you can't you can't force confidence into somebody. You know, you can you can hype them up. Again, you can try. You can be a good friend. You can be supportive. But if they don't believe it, it doesn't it's all it's all for nothing. So that's good. It's a good it's a good question though. Let's hope that stuff will.
like motivational people, motivational speakers, it's just like you guys gotta be confident. You gotta believe. You gotta do this. You gotta. I do mean, that. those people do have a skill. They really have the ability to tr- very to persuasive. translate to transfer their energy onto a group of people. But then what right. happens when those people leave? You know, right. maybe it lasts a couple days. But sometimes that's all it takes. And that's the argument to be made about life coaches and motivational speakers. You just need a little kick in the ass to get started. And then maybe you start building that confidence on your own. Yeah. Maybe. Right. But I would even say the same thing, right? Because you can listen to motivational speakers all day long and still be on the couch listening to motivational speakers. It's like self-help books. Because they say go do – yeah. Well, actually, self-help – there is one or two self-help books that actually I did find very, very useful. Um, But at the end of the day, I I didn't become successful because I read that book. I became successful because – of what I took away from that book. It's a very, it's a me. And more, thing. And more importantly, thing. what you did after. Exactly. It's what I do with the information, but no one taught me how to do that. I took this idea I heard and was like, oh, that makes sense to me. Here's how you, I You can weren't use a looky loo. You actually, yeah, exactly. you actually applied it. Yeah, it's like, do I credit my drum teacher for me being good at drums or do I credit me for practicing and playing and being good at it? You introduced it, but you, you put the work it. in. Right. Are you good at but drums? I'm okay. I mean, people think I'm good, but uh, I don't think I'm good. Cause I, I didn't practice. I convinced my drum teacher for 10 years I did, but I didn't. So if I actually applied myself, I would be pretty good at it. But I just I never wanted to be a musician. I never wanted to be good at music, but I, I am. So that's just kind of the way it is. You're in a studio, sir. I know I'm in a studio. With guitars and instruments around you. Well, I, you, know why, you know why I didn't play guitar? Um, this one right here specifically because I broke too many strings. I started playing with my friends a little you bit. Broke, I broke like two strings. How hard are you plucking them? I don't know. I'm gripping a bass the string. guitar like way too hard. <laughs> yeah, I broke, some strong I broke two, fingers, man. I broke two strings. My friend's guitar is like, you know what? I'll play drums. <laughs> so, break the sticks, but they're easily replaceable. Yeah, I, I never, I never broke a pair of sticks. Um, I think I, I probably still have my original pair of sticks unless I broke them. So <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. Memento. But uh, you know, I live in an apartment, so when I get a house, I'm gonna buy a drum kit again and start pl- and start jamming a little bit. But uh, yeah, but like um, I did I did a I got a concert. I did I did one concert with my eighth grade band, and you know, did my drum teacher teach me how to be confident when playing? No, he taught me how to play. But when I went up there and did like a drum solo or played songs like Teen Spirit or whatever we played, the confidence came with it with within to make sure I could actually do this. Like you could teach someone all you want how to play drums. If you're scared to get on stage, no one's gonna conquer that stage fright other than yourself. Now that's a fact. And watching yeah. someone else do it is not necessarily gonna solve the problem. Right. Or it's someone you teaching you how to do it isn't gonna solve the problem either. It can be the same with motivational speakers, it can be the same with the gym. Right? You can have a personal trainer, but if you still eat like shit, there's only so much they can do. You gotta want it. <laughs> Yeah, so can you teach confidence? You can teach yourself how you do that. Just do it. You know, it's an emotion. It's a feeling. 